we are back and it was immediately right after the last one except that would be a lie because my recording messed up so i had to load the save uh trouble anyway we are uh still in the ice path of course um we don't have much left we actually finished a majority of it mm, is there any way for me to get there from here no all right but, um, what to talk about? So, I guess I could talk about what's coming up because that's what my mind is on. That That's when my recording messed up and I was like, oh, that, that's awesome, great. But, we're coming up to Blackthorn City, which the last city is home of the 8th gym leader for Johto. It is home of the dragon type gym leader and is also home of quite a few options for your team. In the form of... We're going to ignore what I was talking about and we're going to talk about how rest talk works in this generation because that's more important. No, nah. more it's happening right now. Okay, that's what we're going to go with. But um, rest talk in this generation, what how rest works that's slightly different. Cancel that how sleep talk works that's slightly different than in later generations is that I passed it whoops but um how sleep talk works that's slightly different is that if you sleep talk into rest and you have missing HP um it will reset the sleep counter and you will heal it is like you basically got it again it does not work that way in third generation fourth fifth whatever anything after it doesn't work but here it's slightly abusable um, we need to go, I mean, yeah, there we go. But one thing that you have to be sure of, hold on. Uh, no, this is, I don't want to be here. I want to be down here. Yep. Here we are. Um, one thing you have to be careful of is that it's possible to just keep recycling sleep talk into rest and you're trying to rest and sleep talk. It's just a terrible time. It doesn't work. But, um, I guess I could talk about what, what's going to be available to you in Blackthorn. So, in Blackthorn, there will be a trade right off the gate that you can uh, trade a Dragon Arrow, which is kind of hard to have at this point, but there have been places you could get it. I believe or there will be anyway so it doesn't matter for a Drodrio which uh, we haven't we don't have access to the pre-evolution of Doduo yet but we will so if you want to just wait on it and don't want to train up to a Dragonair for it then just wait but I will talk about Dodrio here and I'll talk about it again once we have access to its pre-evolution in the fact that Dodrio is a aggressive flying normal type this is probably the best of the flying normal types you have access to beating out noctowl uh fero pidgeot beating those out it is really strong it gets drill pecked by level up it i think it actually might get try attack at this point though that could be wrong uh, i don't know if it learns it by level up in this game but we're in blackthorn and we're gonna go immediately after talking to this girl about how much I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hotshot trainer. Yep. Uh, here's the trade I was talking about. Um, I'm not going to do it. To be honest, it's kind of a bad trade because we will get access to Do, Do Duo. Not pretty soon, but pretty close. So it's not really the greatest trade. We're going to heal and then we're immediately going to ignore Blackthorn because we have more routes to cover. Holy crap, they really want you to fill your 6th slot here, and that's what's going to be happening to me. I will be getting my 6th team member on the next route if I find it. But for now, I will be uh, going over what you can find while uh, battling stuff. Mm, let's go this way. Also, Route 45 has kind of a split feel to it, so you can get sectioned off from items. It's going to take you probably 3 times to get everything, and probably a 4th if you mess up sometimes sometimes you just mess up and you're like really how how did i do that so just keep that in mind 
it's not that easy to grab everything in one go. It's actually impossible. But you're going to have to fly back up to Blackthorn and then back down. So let's talk about what's available here. For the first time, for gold and crystal players, you can get Gligar. Gligar is a grounded flying type, which is actually very cool. It's immune to electric type attacks and ground type attacks, which is actually very common in competitive play and really common in endgame. There has not been a ground gym or electric gym, but there will be soon. And overall, it's it's kind of a cool Pokemon, except its stats don't really cater to what it needs at the time. Its attack's a little weak, its defense is good, its speed is eh, and overall its typing is the only thing really noticeable about it. It doesn't excel in really anything, and that's what kind of lets it down. It Its immunities don't get to full don't get to be put to full use there we go i can speak i'm sure uh um nothing see we already missed a trainer it's been five seconds but uh a new one is not well graveler is here so if you want to get a graveler you kind of can though there was a point where you could have already grabbed it i just didn't do it um yeah there there's your graveler I'm killing it, by the way. These do have self-destruct, so do be careful. But um, for silver and crystal, we've already had the chance to get one in crystal. But for silver, this is brand new to you. We have Fanfi, which is a pure ground type. And I will say this right now. It is already worse than when you could find it in crystal. It doesn't do a lot because it's so weak early on as a Fanfi. You can find Dawn fans here. But they are increasingly rare in Crystal. And I don't think you can even find them in Silver. I'm not too sure on that though. Overall, it's a pure ground type. It can hit hard. It's defensive. It's decent. At this point though, I do not recommend picking up a ground type. Overall, it's... You either have a ground type or you don't. It's kind of like that. Well, I mean, if, if you really like Fanfi, go ahead and pick it up. Fanfi's cute. So, we have something that only appears in gold and does not appear in crystal or silver. So, gold players, here you go. You get Teddy Ursa. Um, at this point, in crystal, we could have caught it back in the dark cave I mentioned that. But, I'll restate kind of basically what I said for Fanfi. At this point, it's a little too late for it to shine. It is a normal type. It's one of the better normal types, though, in comparison to what we've encountered lately. Licky Tongue. Ugh. Um, it's better than Apom by a mile. It's better than, in my opinion, Persian, because Ursaring is such a powerhouse, which is the evolved form of Teddy Ursa. It hits hard. It's, I kind of harken it back to Tauros and how hard it hits, except it's a little slower, while Tauros is a lot faster. So just keep that in mind. Um, also, unlike Tauros, though, it can learn the elemental punches. So if you want to have a fire punching giant teddy bear, there you go. Uh, next on the list is actually going to be our final team member for this team. Anyway, you have it's a civil Silva Silver. I'm not a Coliseum character. I am a game cartridge that is silver. Thank you. Silver and crystal exclusive in skarmory which is a flying steel type fantastic typing it is a defensive wall that can actually do damage has a decent attack stat um it's also pretty cool as just an overall design it's one of my favorite designs just i don't know it it did steel and flying way before cell steel did and it pulled it off better in its design in my opinion it's immune to ground because of that flying type which means steel loses one of its weaknesses which is great it's really cool its special defense is pretty eh it's standard but it is gonna get hit hard from thunderbolts and flamethrowers so be on the safe side when it comes to that just remember that and that's it that's actually the last uh wild encounter for routes until the eighth gym we do have 
um, access to Route 46 from the north at this time, which leads into Dark Cave, but that is entirely different. And I will mention whatever when it comes up. So, the reason I'm not finding Skarmory... Do, 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 do. Solutions. Alright, so the reason I'm not finding Skarmory right now is because there's going to be a bunch of leveling up opportunities and it's not really a priority at this time for me. And because once I catch Skarmory, there's going to be a lot of running around to avoid the 8th gym because I don't think it's going to be ready for it. But we're going to be going to the World Island, so we'll be exploring that. We're going to be going and finishing off any routes that I'm missing, which I think there's one that I... 46... It would be Dark Cave, never mind. It's not a route, it's Dark Cave. But, overall, we're going to be finishing, and at that point, Skarmory should be around, I'm thinking, 32, 34, maybe. And the gym, because it's a Dragon-type gym, and Steel is kind of really good against it because defensive, uh, we should have a decent time. Now, I will be using the Fly HM on it, and I will not be using Breeding as a way to get Drill Peck on Skarmory, just, just as a note. Because, to be honest, it's not in my planned moveset. Fly will work plenty. Um, and also, it means I don't have to carry Farfetch'd everywhere. It means that I, as long as I have Skarmory, which I will have for a while, um, I won't have to carry two HM slaves. But, um, Kingdra's almost caught up. I should probably have gone Gengar. Or, do I have Gengar? I don't know. Actually, let me check real quick. Oh, I do. I thought I saw a type flotion. But, uh, Kingdra is about to catch up, which is perfect timing for Skarmory to come into. So, after this battle, I will probably fly up to Blackthorn, so I have ease of access for that. And I'll make sure I have the correct amount of Pokeballs, I'll put a bunch of items back into the PC. And I will go on the search for Skarmory, because it is a 10% encounter. Not the rarest. I mean, I did sit there for, like, 3 hours for a Dragon Scale, so I'm not going back into the Dark Ages like I was, which was stupid. But we will be looking for a bird that has a 10% chance of being found. So it might take a little bit. To be honest, I'm not really going to struggle to find one. I don't think. Hopefully. I bet I just jinxed it. Holy crap. Please don't let me jinx it. I was tough at the battle tower. Battle tower is way tougher than you, dude. Is there an item over here? No. All right, with that, I'm going to fight this battle, and we will end it off. So next time, we'll have a Skarmory. Well, we'll be battling it, and we will catch it. Because if we don't, I'll go find a new one. Magic, it's almost like you could find multiple copies of these. Yeah, okay, I... Yeah, I'm done. I'm getting way too... Uh, insulting, I guess. I guess. All right, next time. Skarmory, till then.